Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good. Today's gonna be a good. Hey guys. Good morning. Good morning. My own bag. My something abak. Good morning and welcome everybody. Philippine Ethics. I'm Heidi and this is George. Hello. Good morning, guys. How are you guys doing today? Hi. All right, guys. We're going to wait for the room to build up this morning. Um, now, oh, I don't even know how to start this because honestly, here's the thing. Well, let's let's start with this. Um, our hearts and prayers go out to the family of Michael. Oh, yes, definitely, definitely. Michael yes. Ritchie, yes. a gentleman who lost his life here in the Philippines yes. outside. Yeah. Respects to Michael and the his family. Waterfront Hotel. And that was when he came out of the Agua Bar. Okay. There was an incident, an altercation that had happened there. We have some information. We've also received quite a few views, probably close to 12, 13,000 views on Facebook. We have been reached out by some of the women allegedly in the club. And right. we have to say alleged, but this puts a whole total spin on this story now because we kind of had an ideal that something was off on this story. But again, these are this is going to be a conversation with the people today. Um, this is going to be a controversial. It's going to be a very controversial show today. It's going to be very alarming to some people. Um, we will discuss the rapper, uh, battle rapper range 999. Um, I want to add in today that I misspoke and called him Ranger. I think when we were talking the no, other I, night, it baby, was late. You don't night. have to apologize but, for that. No, I have, you apologize all the time about stuff. I'm just saying I misspoke his name a few times. You know, you guys got to understand we do oh, well, a lot. Oh, a real name, the saying. Yeah. Um, okay. um, also, I want to correct that I called Mike and his current girlfriend to say um, I called them that they were married. Okay, my fault because we were told they're a Phil Am couple. I misunderstood that Phil Am also could mean boyfriend and girlfriend, or I'm not sure. I've only heard Phil Am as in when people are married. Right. Now, be aware that in all, all the media that we put out regarding this incident, I've always said, or we've always said, rather, that remember, this is only Range's side. We did say that. So. We kept repeating mm -hmm. that. Now, there is the other side of the coin. Third side. Or rather, what's the, how Americans call it? The other shoe dropping. Now, this is that side. Now, um, hey, Kuya John, again, um, if you want to cam up, you're welcome to cam up later on. We will give you your voice if you have do have. Um, it seems like you do have somewhat some inside information on this or rather on... And by the on way, the behalf of Michael. Right. And so here's the thing. If you are somebody that was at the club that night and we have had those people reach out to us and we have some statements that we'll read. OK. Also, what we're going to do is we will drop a link after we show everything. If you're a Filipino, Filipina, if you're one of the girls there, you can come on to this live stream and leave your photo off. Okay, so you don't have to show yourself. Um, so that's not a problem because here's the thing. People are on the fence right now. I've been through thousands of comments since yesterday, since we were talking to this woman. I've seen all kinds of stories put out. The newspapers are even telling different stories, like different times. No, they it are. The, the actual news. Mm -hmm. So until it actually all 100% comes out, you know, this currently is a discussion about it because what we will, the other shoe will drop today. A lot of you are going to be like, that's what I was thinking because we already covered part of this well, when we looked at the CCTV Here's the footage. thing is the first story, which is 
range 999 stars. Sorry, range 999 fans. Okay. I mean, I'm not trying to offend range 99 fans here. However, the problem with the range size side is a lot of things don't they don't match. Right. So now yeah. the other side, the Michael Ritchie story, it actually makes sense. And his name has been trashed. His girlfriend sits there in tragedy. He leaves behind two children, not just one. Okay. One was living with him, a 12 year old daughter. And he also has a son. And I went to state there from two different Thai women. Okay. He was married to a Thai woman. He's been divorced. That much we got from several sources. But he's not currently married to that girlfriend that he was last seen in footage having dinner with. That's his current girlfriend. Okay. Um, but this guy, his friends from the MMA and people back in the United States, if I'm correct on this, and you guys may have more information, I keep seeing he's from Alabama. He was fighting in Florida at some point. And the A does not stand for the anarchy. It's the name of the MMA fighting that he has in, 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 on him branded. So I do want to No, I, that I didn't think it was the anarchy, but I didn't say. It looked I like didn't it, argue but... with it because, again, I'm fallible. I'm not awesome. Kurt Russell. I'm not a human computer. But to me, it didn't look like an A, um, like a, an anarchy logo. No, so. it stands for something else. But it's I good. usually shut up unless it's confirmed in my head. Like, unless I'm 100%, I usually shut the F up. But, and yeah. so his friends have been stepping out on Instagram and Facebook. It's slowly coming out now. Um we also thank Michael, or he's been called Mike is what they call him. Mike, thank you for your service and rest in peace. He was Army, okay? We keep hearing different things, that he was Marines, he was Navy, everybody. His own page and his own friend said he was Army, that um, he was the nicest person possible. Not interrupting you, Heidi, but just real quick. Copal, 71, I don't know where you're coming from. Sounds like... The, like the folks are going to change their tune on or sorry. Well, other folks, not us. Yeah, I'm just very fine. Not us. We never, we always said, yeah, we don't, think don't know this. Michael's we side of the story. We did say that through all, all of them. All of the lives, we always said. Yeah, so. And I think it's also, when we did the live stream and said he had passed away, they said, there's different times too. They're saying four o'clock. Newspaper said four. Another person said it well, was five. One of them said 6.30. Well, here's the funny thing on Instagram with his friends, they were saying rest in peace on Monday and they were saying that on the web page. Yeah. And then so um, it, it's really hard saying right, the, we said even the actual is, news, not we're not talking about vloggers. We're talking about real news. Manila Bulletin, Sunstar. Those and that's kind of where we've been getting things yes. till today. Now we've been in full discussion, just like expat John, when we when we actually had his woman contact us. We've now had women in the club and another woman, which we are going to leave. We're not putting her name out there. She asked for it not to be there. I verified her page. It's not a recently created page. Um, it seems like a normal page. So um, the information kind of fits what we were actually feeling was actually going on. But this is all a discussion. So. Yeah. And, and be aware again, uh, I guarantee you. All of you guys, when you hear Michael's side of the story, it makes sense mm -hmm. because versus the other side. I mean, I'm not saying range is completely off. I'm not saying that. However, his part of the story doesn't make sense to me, never did. And to you guys, same thing. It's like, okay. But when we talk about Michael's story, you guys are going to like, okay, this makes sense. Yeah, it's not Air Force, Victoria. I don't know where. That's just it. People said he was Air Force. Marine. There's a lot of misinformation on his online. page um, and another. Actually, his own words was he was Navy. Right. Or not um, Navy. Sorry, sorry. I just I just repeated it. And the thing He's is, Army. Right. I and said that initially. there's a lot of sorry. false accusations. Like you know, I can't even say those words. Put it that way, because one, I don't want to. I don't want people to say, oh, George said he's he's this type of person. No, I never said well, that. It's other people. The things. On but the, a lot of the Filipino pages right now, um, it's been going around. You guys seen it covered on Mike. Mike actually stated, like showed a clip, which is out there, okay? There's a thing showing that they said that Mike or Michael 
was a, a child a child toucher. I'm going to put it that way. Right. You guys know pedo. And the documents, he would have been like 11 years old. They're still pushing them on all the Filipino pages right now, like Facebook, Instagram. And they're saying, oh, this guy is a child toucher and all. And like, do you guys see what year it is? It's not possible. So another thing that I might have slipped up on is said that they were both around 37. He's 37, Michael. And I believe, um, what's his name? Uh, I call him his Jed Andrew um, Solera, Mr. Solera, which is range 999, was born in 98. So that would put him at, what, 26, maybe 27 this year because he just turned probably 27. Right. So there's about a 10-year difference. So that's the other thing because one of the newspapers actually quoted both of those. So. His age is there. Um, so there's a lot going on, guys. There, there's a lot going on. There's and... a lot. There's really a lot. And um, we're going to tell you most of the stuff um, on the end on what the up, latest update, because we want to start the story at the start. We're not going to tell you the ending, if that makes any do sense. Do you want me to get this? Because I do know who did that. We were sent that photo to Actually... Myself um yeah sure sure um now we're gonna actually i have um there's a something called a green room which is basically most of the guests sit there but also the green um green rooms um function is it sets aside the videos that we're about to present you um actually yeah we'll yes hector we're gonna go back to that into detail as far as that guy you're talking about because it is relevant. And actually, the reason why the video, I have it on cue, as it were, is because it is, again, relevant to part of the story. Okay. Now, first off, let's establish things. Okay. Um, before I forget, let's establish that the Waterfront Hotel is, is very alike to or akin to Grand Casino Hotel. It's a big, giant hotel. Very classy, very beautiful. Now, I hate to say these things, but the first okay, video 26. that inside video, I was kind of like, I don't know about this. And there's reasons why. Okay. okay. Also, uh, Copal says he was airborne, not Air Force. Okay. So I don't know where you guys specifically on his own pages, he said he was Army. So I mean, unless well, there's... Airborne Ranger. Okay. He's an airborne Ranger. I don't know anything about Airborne. Yeah. So... I think, I believe Airborne Ranger is 10... okay. 101st, I believe. Okay. So yeah. first anyway, off, um... we want to. We want to say that some things actually click. We're like, well, what was he doing all the way from Mobile or wherever he actually Mobile, was? Mobile, Alabama. Well, it's not Mobile. It's the name of the area. I'm probably mispronouncing it. But um, there is something that kind of clicked in our mind is that the Waterfront Hotel, which we failed to mention the last time, is the spot where immigration is. That is the head Cebu correct so location for immigration. So it's kind of like his. Okay, this is our speculation. Our speculation is that he was there not just for pleasure. It's kind of like a sideline. It's like, oh well, since I'm here, I might as well. We believe that his main reason to be in that hotel again is to go to the immigration office because it makes sense. Yes. Yeah, and I have some footage. I forgot to tell you, that's what I meant to upload. I have footage of around the hotel. So remember when they showed him shooting well, up the drive? Well, I know. I know. I'll bring it up here in a minute. We'll show it. I, I got okay. it right here. It's already loaded and everything. So it is the location of, which is inside the actual hotel, is also. No, just place. facts. I'm not saying it isn't that nice. It's it's old in, inside. I get it. It's an but, old hotel. But there's a level of. Even if it's an old club, there's still a level, if that makes any sense. I, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. And honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, for those of you who are not never been into the restaurant business, you don't want to go into a restaurant with all the lights on, put it that way. 
Ted, so, I just sent you a photo, a last photo. I can't, yes, yes, sorry. I sorry, can't Illuminar. Yes, this. it's the U.S. consulate. Sorry. Yes, we, I misspoke. Yes, it's the embassy. Well, okay, yeah, misspoke. It's yeah, it's the embassy. Yes. U.S. embassy. Well, technically, it is where they go and do the passports. Mm, I, well, they actually, they I only do so I, much. I, Sorry, I, I, I knew where you were coming from, but I didn't want to. It's a side office for the U.S. Embassy. It's Point not being, a full there, thing. They, he could have been there doing immigration. It was what well, was in my head. odds are, yes. He could have been there getting his child's passport. He could have been renewing his passport. So, sorry, somewhere in the realm. So, um, Ted, I sent you a picture. If members or you guys are in on our messenger, uh, we have a raw photo footage that we can't put up. I would also members only because it's sensitive like that well i mean if they ask for it, it's the same as when we had that surrounding in the compound of the yeah we can't put it on facebook so i mean but yeah we have the actual photo yeah now first off again um before i read the comments again with, with all due respect to everybody again before i read the comments um but i mean i will read the comments but I won't address every single one until we're kind of halfway through. That makes kind of sense. Yeah. yeah we'll so, okay. But either way, there's, okay, see, okay, that's what I thought. 101st, remember I said 101st? 101st Airborne Rangers. Okay. Yes. Um. Yes, Airborne Rangers. Those, okay. Now, the there's always, of course, the argument, you know, Navy SEALs. Airborne Rangers, who's better or not. Again, honestly, in the end, it doesn't matter. It's whoever comes out alive in the end, technically. But anyway, um, but no, um, Airborne, 101st Airborne Rangers are, are like really one of the best in that particular army. Okay. So if that makes any sense. Now, we're going to go into. Okay. Remember, first off, I'm not pro or anti any particular race or country or anything like that. Okay. However, we have to establish character. Now, we're going to go on range 999. First off, we get a lot of hate mail saying, oh, he's a big guy. He's got billions. Well, not really. They said millions of followers, which technically he does. He does However, so do most TikTokers. Do you know most of these TikTokers? No, because nobody cares. <laughs> okay. Now, um, I'm going to show you. This is actually from Range 999. Range 999 recently, or rather last year, eBay. Does that sound like a very big star to you? Does this sound like somebody? Remember I said, I highly doubt he has any conting contingency plans. I don't think he's that kind of guy. Mm -hmm. The fact that he's e-begging tells you, one, he doesn't have money, and he doesn't plan. Right. Um, also, you don't have the footage of him in the hospital. No, no I do, but we're, okay. we're baby, okay, one, step out, one step out of time. Okay. One step out of time. Again, the fact that the, the guy is e-begging, regardless how big of a star he is, he's e-begging, guys. This is recent. This is not 10 years ago. No. Okay. I also want to establish we have a lot of stuff, so stick around, guys, because not only do we have actual footage inside the club, which establishes Mike's character, along with talking to other people and the girls that were in there, what they seen that night. We have all of this now. OK, so we're going to establish range nine 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 or Jed is his name. We're going to establish a couple different things, but the biggest thing that is is being done is Michael's name is being trashed. And several things have been said throughout social media and through his friends saying he's the strongest man I ever known. He's the most generous man that you know I've ever known. They're shocked in the US right now. That's all I can say is the words over and over again is they just can't believe that he's gone. So Right. So again, like I said, we're just establishing that range 999 again. It's he has no financial stability, which means he's not mature. Okay. 
now to prove the fact even further okay he is he, and okay i'm not gonna show you the whole footage okay because honestly it's a five minute boo hoo hoo poor me Where kind of deal okay crying. also to say the reason as i'm to understand that he was in there is during a performance on his own page it actually showed where he had a mild stroke okay there they said that there were a few reasons it either could have been contributed to substances or it was contributed by just the energy that he's putting out like it looks like he's on like go go juice. I mean, he bounces. Actually, one of you guys actually screaming. said it during our last lives, but we, 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 we don't. Been. We're not really allowed to say that word yeah. on YouTube. Um, but hey, here, okay. I'm again. I'm not going to show you the whole video because again, I don't want to. Well, like, what does it say up on the page? You can this right here. No, no, baby, that's not stop for five minutes. All he right, did was what cry. Does it say there is that in Tagalog or is that for science? No, it's right Tagalog, now. but again, I'll I'll tell him the gist of it. I'm okay. not gonna read every single babe. He says a lot. Um <laughs> So this is in the hospital and he's crying, yada yada yada, blah blah. Now Oh, actually, this is the part yes, I guess. I'm which... SM, uh... Now, again, I'm not going to translate the whole thing. I'm just going to give you the gist of it because he, he says a lot. Now, and that's not the hardest cry that he had during all of that either. Right. So the issue I have with this one, this is on social media. He broadcasted this. I get it. The guy is in pain. He's in the hospital. Now, here's the issue. I'm not downing the guy for being down. For all, first off, this is the past. It's a long time ago. Second off, here's the thing. He ended up in the hospital right after he begged for the money, okay? This is the time when his girlfriend decided to leave. Uh -huh. And he's crying because, okay, get this, guys. Guys, most of you guys are adults, or rather, I hope you guys are adults because you guys are in my age bracket. We're kind of old, you know what I'm saying? Here's the problem I have with this like video. Well, it's not that crying like a sissy girl. Again, everybody cries, everybody hurts. But according to him, according to Range 999, he says that let my girlfriend call me. According to him, the girlfriend's friends are stopping her from calling him. Now, what my point is, guys, you guys or you girls, will you ever let your girlfriends or boyfriends or male friends or female friends stop you from making that call? I mean, come on. We're not 13 years old. There's a lot going on. The person that contacted me that was speaking to me most of the day yesterday had established that Jed um, here has a long history of jealousy of different people. And also she establishes that he is some sort of part of a group. Of course, it's very evident by going to his Facebook page that he's in a special clique and that jealousy plays a very big part in their groups and i'll read through part of what was said yesterday to us and also to establish that he uh, i don't want to say it i almost let the cat out of the bag early what this is all right about. now so we're not we do have the anything. we do have the club footage and we do have or rather i'll i'll translate what's not translated as far as the attorney go is concerned um trying to figure where to go now also be aware okay the loyalty is a catch 22 
loyalty is. Yes. You remember this the... is one second. I got to show him some footage I just got. So this is the establish coming up right. and around the location. Right. That it. Um, one second. Yeah, one second here. I don't want to say it out loud. We also have where, uh, I believe the footage came out yesterday, where he has obtained an attorney that is speaking to the people. Well, like I said, we'll release that later on, because, again, this is very important for case. And, again, it's important that we start from the beginning to the end somewhat. Yeah. Um, and, again, um, let's see. Now, as far as the withdrawals and stuff like that and that kind of use, um, we can't vouch for any of that, nor can we confirm nor That's deny. Not, we don't usually say stroke. things unless we're... His page showed yes, he had a mild stroke. Unless so. we have confirmation, stuff like that. So um, according to his pages, that's what happened. And then he released his own footage. So yeah. Right. And then, hold on. Let's see. So I'll upload this then. Just shows the outside of the location. Right. Oh, yeah. I was trying to figure out where I was. Now, the the issue we have with this, or not, it's really not an issue. It's not has nothing to do with us. The issue with this, remember I said that loyalty is a catch-22. The problem you have is Filipinos are very loyal people. And when I say catch-22, it either goes for either good or bad. It right. doesn't matter. And they're they're kind of on the fence right now. Um, and right now there is a big support for the Americans. So this woman that contacted us yesterday said that there's a few things going on um, that they do support um, his family and there's people, you know, praying for him and everything. They don't want to think everybody fell on um, Jed, Jed side, Andrew, because right now it's being said, basically he's a martyr right now, or okay. not a martyr, not that he died, but that he's a saint right now because he stood up for the girls, which it'll be up for you guys to decide if you think the stuff that we released today, whether um, you know, what you actually think about it, but he's already in the newspapers admitted to guilt. And he says that he's ready, you know, he's ready to right now again, forward on everything, just to clarify on the loyalty thing. Remember that Filipinos are dead loyal. And what I'm saying is when Heidi says the American side, she means them, the Americans. And when I said catch 22, I'm talking about the Filipinos, a lot of Filipinos, a lot, especially the Cebuanos. Okay. I'm not being racial here. It's just, it's just one of those things that you have to deal with. You know, um, since he's from Cebu, he's a Cebuano, most Cebuanos will support the Cebuano. It's just one of those things. Now, point being is these people will base are they somewhat fanatical, if that makes any sense, and they will support him and they will doesn't matter whether he's right or wrong. They're going to support him no matter what. That's right. what I seen by said by loyalty. And that's why I also said in a lot of times during our life, our past lives, I said, remember, this is only Ranger's side, not Michael's side. Nobody has come forward on Michael's behalf. Mm -hmm. And that's why I said, hold judgment. I actually said those words, hold judgment. We don't know Michael's side. Well, I didn't say Michael's side. I said his side. So now, um, I guess we play that one, right? Is that inside the? Oh, yeah. If we can see nope. It. We're gonna go ahead and play the footage. Okay. This is inside the club. What time? I believe it was. I said it two thirty. This is the morning of the incident. Mm -hmm. This is the actual footage, clear footage. Yeah. 
I'm excited. That's okay. <laughs> It's clear footage, and actually, if you see this video, like, okay, that's what I expect out of, the, of that hotel. It okay. establishes. It establishes right his it, character and what everybody's been right. That too. About. Um, one, it proves he was in that particular location. It was expected of that location. I get it. I get some of you guys say, "Oh, it's old." I get it. It's old, but you know what? It still looks good in the night, and when all the lights are off and the neon lights are on. All right, here it is. Okay, so again, here is um you can see he's there. He's and you can see the club. I mean, this is what I mean by bar. I get it. Some of you are like, well, it's an old bar, but guess what? You can see this is somewhat conducive of the environment that he was in. And now now I want to say on the side, and I'm gonna throw this out there. Several people had contacted us and said this along with the person surprisingly yesterday when we got this footage it is now being said and by one newspaper by the Cebu newspaper that range 999 was called in that night he was not Allegedly. with them that he this is what's being said and then the newspaper said there was a confrontation and this is from the, the news club, and then it said range arrived after notice how the car and the footage no that that's why i have it on cue is because we want to show you again the far uh, distance that he comes from and how many entrances there are there here pause it a second okay notice that this is him this is michael up front there are two security guards outside in this footage two at least two okay and notice how one of his friends has their arms around him. Still, everything is friendly. Something actually switched. And then the guy that came up from behind him and did that, they've established who he is. I, as of today, he should have been arrested. Um, so we know who that is. Um, and he was then kicked around. And at that point, then he was frustrated. He, there's no doubt. N does it any way that you actually look at it? But it is said that he was called because the guys were starting to get jealous of him inside of the club. So should I go into all of that? Or okay, now first off, the, the problem you face, or rather the other side of the story, which you guys have heard already. There is, is... no jury by trial. Uh, Joseph, there is no jury by the peers. We mentioned that in the previous live. Like I said, the problem you face here is that Range 999 said that he was defending the women's honor. Now, as far as the women, women's honor is concerned, what really happened there, Patty? What's that? Sorry, I missed. I was reading somebody saying high class bar, but uh paper cups yes that's very common but that is a upper bar yes believe it or not i'm sorry i missed what was you saying actually um brian i'm just saying and they're be, smart for no broken well glasses. here's the thing a lot of paper be, cups be aware there. actually the fact that a bar i'm not i'm not trying to i'm just trying to educate people who have never been to the philippines and it actually makes sense what i'm about to say if a bar uses paper cups then it's a higher class bar and you're like why it's disposable right versus 
plastic that they barely wash. You guys, you yeah, guys, don't fool yourselves. You really think they scrub those glasses down? No, they they hit them with hot water, if that, and that's it. I'm, but anyway, I'm going to read the Cebu Daily News. It says here that. However, police major chief of the Mobolo police station said that Solera was not at the bar when all these incidents, when this incident Correct. happened. This came from the he was not news, there. And this was released days ago after the incident. Actually, so yes. I'm reading this and I said, George, this all just came together. It makes it's sense. What we actually said it, it makes looks sense. like he wasn't even there. I've got a map from around the hotel. Okay, we did the old Scotty boy thing where you go around and look at the entire setup. And it looks like he had come from the long way in and he was called in according to the girls that have been speaking to us that he wasn't there that night. No. Okay, it says here, one second, let me read the it said that Solera was not at the bar when the commotion had happened early Sunday morning. He was not there. And another interview and in talking to a radio station, the commotion happened inside the bar where the incident happened way before Solera arrived. Right. Now, what's important to note is that, again, remember I said, Daily I remember said I said girls earlier. Remember the... Again, I'm going to backtrack here because, again, I have to go back to I'm where. I'm going to send that to the moderator, Ted. Okay, I'm going to go back to where I was saying, again, to reestablish where I was. was. Now, remember I said the girls. Okay, now, according to Range's story, that Senate. Range was defending the fem women's honor. Send it to Scott. Now, to those of you who have been to the Philippines, when when I what I'm about to say, you're like, okay, that makes more sense. According to the to Michael's side of the story, not not Michael, actually it's Send it to you, our source is actually one of the people who are actually with him the last moments, if that makes any sense. And now according to our source, this is what really happened. And this makes more sense, especially to the ones who've been here to the Philippines. When Michael was in the bar, the women were flocking all over him and somewhat forcing themselves upon him. Yes, this was said by several of the women that the women that were doing that were actually let me let me go through and I will read the exact statements that I have from our verified person, okay? Um, and I do have screenshots from the people that were there. So this has all been retranslated in there. Okay. Of course they asked for their identity to be not given. Okay. So I want to establish that first. Um, they're saying that things aren't adding up and range nine, nine about him telling the truth. Okay. So. It says that the ladies, the ladies were not disrespected, um, and not one person has come forward on Range Nine Nine Nine's side. Okay, he's got his attorney that just recently spoke about different things. I think one of his friends showed up, but these women have not come forward to say this has happened. So there is no proof of this. Um, oh, one second. Yeah, it's, it's don't just, do that. I'm trying to scroll up. That was me. Um, reading through here because I don't want to. Also, there are other witnesses that have come forward in the club that night saying that most of the Filipina ladies were trying to seek all the attention to Mike Ritchie because he is a foreigner with nice appearance and was generous to others that night. He was very generous. So it's like range 999's friends, they were all jealous of him and they were being ugly about it. And they said that range was not at the bar or in there at the time. Okay, so now we have the newspaper and I sent that to our moderators to verify that. I also now have where the women were in there 
that had actually seen the other women and that all they seen was him being nice. What it's boiling down to allegedly, and me and George discuss this on the site, is jealousy. Okay. Right. So I know the guys out here that are here in the Philippines has seen this jealousy, you know, amongst Filipino men. They've seen it with the Filipino women. Wow. Because if you go, and this wasn't one of those clubs here in Angeles City. The women seen the foreigner and flocked to him. Me and Joe, we had that full discussion. I said, I bet the women were sticking to him like well, glue. And by the way, the thing. he's not married. So I, I just want to reestablish. I bet one of um, range 999, the one of the girls he's pining after, went after Mike. Correct. And then that's when things turned ugly with his friends. Okay. Some say they did not see Mike harass any of the ladies yeah, and he and did not touch them. Text world, I don't know if you came in late. Yes, that was in the early morning of the incident because I would say night. That it's, was 2 30. Yeah, it's our, yeah the it's footage early has morning. Been yes, timed. That was him time. in the early morning of, yes, correct. So even at 2 a.m., yes. he was fine. And if you looked at the footage that we actually seen, they were still putting their arms around him, but they were leading him out. Right. For and the, again, they were leading a sheep out to, and I don't want to say the word out loud. And as, butchering. as Illuminar de Magico says, bingo, because now this side of the story makes perfect sense. I'm absolutely disgusted. Right. Because again, it's unfortunate that it's, it's just been it's been stressful because like i don't know it's just it's just horrible it's just horrible that we get this footage and he's such a nice guy and that's all i've read and heard from right. his friends so he's not cheating um actually first off you know, um we we apologize he's fast. not married we apologize he's not married and but he wasn't with anybody that uh, well if he is he hasn't tried anything in the bar Okay. So, it said starting at, at 6 a.m. range had arrived because he was called in. Right. Now, what's the man with the red hat that had kicked Mike really hard, but Mike really wasn't doing anything. The girl said he wasn't doing anything. And as you could see. Now, the thing is, who opened the door? It was not Michael. According to the newspapers, it looked like he did, but it's the said, newspapers and the witness. It was not him. If he him was who guilty the door. of anything at that point, if I was kicked, I'd have popped off too. Yeah, I'm sorry. At that point, I'd have been upset, and he looks upset there because think about it. Right before he rolled up, they had their arms around him, and that's two security guards. You're looking at two security. So what the F? Oh, push. Go ahead. Is that security too that had their arms around him? Because um, no, I'm waiting no. to see. Okay, Those, so that's just no. So two of the security. Now the security and the, people are on the right. See, they have up, the white stuff on their back. The the reason this is coming up is because we get there are several footages out there. It doesn't establish range in the bar. It looks like his friends were with him in the bar. And in this footage, it's all the guys with him. Okay. Let me read further about and, what's going and on. And actually, before he pulls up, a couple of the gentlemen who are not security actually pointed out that here's range. He's coming they on the right hand side. According to these witnesses. On the right, right hand okay. bottom side, you'll see, see right there. He just pointed that, oh, there, he's here. There he is. Damn, really what happened that night was that the woman kept sticking, okay, the women kept sticking to Mike because the American he saw had nice muscles and he was very attractive. The women would not stay off of him. And we all know that. And I want you guys, you guys, come on. You guys have been in the Philippines. Even nice bars at nice places outside of Angeles and walking street areas in Manila, you're still going to get the women that flock to you like any club. I've been in a club. I mean, I've been in all kinds of clubs in Clearwater and Miami. I've been in Miami clubs, some expensive ones, and I know what that looks like, guys. So they're saying they flocked him really, really hard. Then it turns out that the group with Range was very insecure, and they started accusing Mike of harassing them because they were insecure. Things turned quickly. 
even if the man outside had kicked Mike, he did not kick back because Mike is a professional. And it says here that Mike was then injured. I can't say the word. Um, and it was stated that range was high as. Uh, That's a okay. kite. Well, I can't say the word, um, you know. No, I know. Far, far, bark. Um, high as bark. They said that he was when he had arrived. And it just said that they were ugly over it. They mentioned the actual charges. She goes on about that. I'm still reading. There was another message sent. Um, no. All right. I was... This is another statement from another girl. I was there that night, but I did not see the shooting outside. I was inside because I went home early. What I can say is those ladies were wearing a typical rented girl night look that were all over him and their behavior. The waiters were scrambling and serving Mike really, really fast because he was so generous and was giving out money. Those ladies just kept sitting with Mike and at his table and around him. And I said to them, just go girls like that. Just something about keep your work or something. It's how it was stated. So possibly that's when the group, they broke the story. You know, that's why range had said that story. That's why they broke that story is because the girls were all over him. He was more trying to get him away. So that's what's going on, guys. Right. Now, the problem now with this story, and I'm not saying a problem. I'm talking about it changes the perspective. And what I mean is, again, in this video, this is, he's not in, where range is coming from. He's not coming from a parking lot area which means he actually drove wherever he's at. I don't know if he was home, you know, in his toilet. I don't know. But he did not come from the hotel. Even the newspaper said yeah. that he was not So there. what that means is, now some of you says it's premeditated. At this point, it's kind of leading towards that because this is a gentleman who, again, did was not at the bar, was not at the hotel, and drove into where Michael was. So now, as far as the weapon is concerned, did it has it always been in his glove compartment? It's possible, which is probably why there's a law in the U.S. You're not supposed to have a firearm at ready. It has to be somewhere. It's a and he might have brought it. To yeah, I mean, you have to take two steps in order to take it out. Meaning you have to unlock it. You know that kind of stuff. Um, you know, take it out of the trunk, take it out of the case, and then then you can do it. But point being is you can't just you know. So what I'm saying is, at this point, I'll, there, we've gotten a lot of messages saying it, it seems premeditated. And at this point, like I said, it seems that way. Because like I said, he's not coming from the parking lot, guys. This is not from the parking lot. He drove in just for this event, put it that way. And like I said, we don't usually say stuff unless we're certain. And again, that's why most of the time I'm like, eh, I don't know. But, but anyway, several things have come together. Yeah, things. Some witnesses. Yeah, things don't add up. And and this side and the man's of name is being trashed. Right. That's where I'm disgusted. And and this upset. side of Michael's story makes sense. And just to clarify, guys, um, I didn't think it was, but the A on his chest is not anarchy. What was it? Oh, it stands for the MMA match that he actually does i forgot what it was or the pgf well, or is yeah, it some P yeah pgf yeah. and something no else. and but again i when somebody said it was anarchy i couldn't contest it although i know what an anarchy logo looks like triad the right triad. triad emblem because all the guys in the audience if you looked at the audience as he was walking into that match that we shown right um they were all wearing it with that big a on it so when I looked it up, triad was with a big red. Handicraft, so. this is not. Okay, you can call it gossip if you want, but here's the thing. 
a lot. I bet you a lot of our viewers right now agree and with this not new true. story. That's not true, handicraft. Because, because this story makes sense. The other one did not. It. Nobody's making any money. We've been demonetized on every single one right. of them. And so, yeah, and, and, and it's what? it's not obviously for the money. We have been demonetized. And the American thing. deserved to be to be he actually back. His, his voice name's being trash. Well, crap, you can join us in the in back the, or not again. His side of story was that never man. heard, regardless of again. I'm not talking about him in particular, regardless of whenever two things, um, a fact, something, an altercation happens between two parties. It doesn't matter how one story and, is bullshit, it still needs to be heard. Okay, and you're wrong. If you would look on, there's a lot more pe people milking this, mostly Filipinos. And they don't have facts. Most of the time, we don't say anything unless we have facts. The show business Like this pastor, footage, which a, happened a guy right named before EOT it happened. International claims to know him, claimed he wasn't going to do no story. He did two in a row, and that was what, a day ago? At the time we seen it, it was nine hours, four days after the fact. He wants to come forward and said he knew Mike one time a year ago. Milking it? He did two videos, him and his Filipina. Okay? And there are tons more. There, There's all kinds of footage. I'm, I'm staring at it over and over. And the biggest person that has done this is a, is a YouTuber called Nico David. And he is an actual Filipino. And he's done four or five of them on it. And he did two or three yesterday. You just coming in here because you're hating. More than likely, you're one of those YouTubers that can't stand us. And we have an ideal of who you are. Why don't you just come on? Like, for real. Because you won't. You're a keyboard warrior like some of the other and the YouTubers themselves. Well, he's probably a YouTuber. Probably a YouTuber. Honestly, I just about imagine. No. But you won't come on. We're about to play, I guess, some of you would call the end game, or rather. So now what? Betty won't come on. Okay, so now what? I'm going to. Most of it is in English, which is a good thing. I'm just going to play the audio. Um, most of it is in English, but if there's some Tagalog there, um, I'll try to catch it and translate it for you, okay? All right. And now, here comes the stream. Bring be, yourself on. Be aware, this is from. Range 999's lawyer. Okay. I'm however, regardless of whether whose lawyer it is, it's actually range nine nine nine. But what I'm saying, he actually did it in an objective manner, which I, it gives me respect to the lawyer. Because he says things he said things that okay, he may be a lawyer, he may be Range's lawyer, but he said things that it's impartial. Okay, which means he's like he didn't say stuff like, oh, my client's going to go away with this. Oh, my client's innocent. Oh, my client this, my client that. He never said any of the such. So I give him props for being objective as possible. So here's the audio for um, Range 999's lawyer. Yeah. Uh, real quick. Uh, Jay and Travel in the Philippines said that was a setup outside. That was definitely premeditated. Yeah, which will match the stories of the girls that have been contacting us and saying he was called in right. because of jealousy. Like I said, this side of the story makes sense, not the other one. Because everybody had a lot of questions. Everybody had a lot of mm -hmm. questions on the other side. A lot of messages, a lot of emails. Right. And we'll cover this for another three months if we want to. I and, mean, give me a break. Right. Kilaton Jr., ang legal counsel ni Range 999. Okay, attorney first, kumusta si Range karon? Um, considering that I have exposure sa prison cell since I was a teenager, I could say nga, uh, not exposure as a prisoner, ha? Uh, uh, as a lawyer. As, as a lawyer and a previous son of uh, the f first female warden of Cebu City, yeah. uh, I can say that it is ordinary, there is no special treatment, but he was also treated in accordance with law. So. Now, he said part of it in a very small part of in Tagalog, basically saying Range 9 and 9 is not given special privileges. However... Oh, yeah, people have been bringing him food, tons of visits, radio stations, vloggers. He's been giving out interviews, and he's been spilling his guts out. And the biggest thing he keeps repeating to all these vloggers and people is that he was standing up for the women. and he's throwing that right. boost. However, or whatever. He, I can't say he is, right. I believe, what they call in the U.S., he's with the population. Is that right? No, the photo shows he's with population. He's with population. I mean, I guess. So he isn't he in doesn't a have his own cell. cell. Yeah, I guess. 
yeah, it shows him on the ground with other people. He's got guys fanning him and everything and doing things for him <laughs> and bringing him food. But, uh, you know, money will go a long way, I guess. Right. Okay, so okay, right? you have the question. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, I don't need to report the case of the Atubang Nerys. The final of the Japan is frustrated murder on the legal position of firearms. But, Uh, di ilang nakapsan yun sa kinabuhi ang gatong iyahang kontra so ang possible yun is ma-upgrade to murder case kung say legal maneuver ninyo ani uh, the first thing I did considering that I was just uh, engaged last night like around 10 or 11 p.m. so what honestly wala ko koy kalibutan sa previous kaya nahitabo no so ang ako naging gyanhi diri is to check uh, the time of surrender up to the time I mean, I mean up to the present time kay Under our law, uh, the maximum detention is only up to 36 hours okay. if it's a heinous crime. Okay, so remember how they say they can only hold you for X long unless they arrest you? Here, it's somewhat the same thing. Um, he's saying it's only 36 hours up until somebody brings up charges against you. So if unless, here's the thing. Even if you did do the crime, if nobody brings up charges against you, Allegedly, they may have to let him go. That's what these women are afraid of. Several of them have stated they're afraid they might actually let him go. So that's the scary part. There is no trial by jury. It will be a trial by the judge and information brought. It could take years. But when was this? This was yesterday, right? Right. So the attorney that is speaking for um, was as of yesterday. Here's the thing, they amended those charges as of Tuesday. Now, can a slip up of paperwork cause him to go free? It's a possibility. Just like the US when they end up letting somebody go when bad things happen, it happens everywhere in the world. There's been a lot of people saying there's a good chance he might get off on this. So, and the Filipinos, there's a lot of them that don't want him to go free. So um, the last thing I was seeing from this person was that his friends, even his friends are saying he's not such a good person. The ex-girlfriend, everything. There's all kinds of things starting to come out. He is using this that he was touching women and disrespecting as a key of, what was that? Yeah, go ahead. Was that another one or the same one? Okay, I normally don't do this, but um, Kuya John, if you're, I, you're probably in the room, one more time, you're going to get x Nate from the channel. And here's the thing. I don't care about your channel, whether you do have one or not. The fact that you claim you have one is even more reason why you should be banned the next time you say something off. What? There is something called YouTube etiquette. Okay, you are not to promote your channel on anybody's channel. You are not to bash anybody's channel on their life. What? So, so Koya John, you're on your last one. I'm just saying it with, in all fairness to you. guys. I'm very, very tolerant. However, there's I take do take YouTube etiquette seriously because and that's if why you got, don't, that's why right, we've gotten rid of other channels. If you don't here. demand respect, the, you won't get respect. And there's, we, yeah, there's only one person that we consider a friend that we've met in person and we cross promote. And that's Mike. And, and the fact that he says, OK, fill me in the rules, dude. We do not make the rules. We do not make etiquette the same way as well, what do you do? Come in and say the same way you as you. I mean, do you ever go into a party that has all the forks and spoons, all three spoons, all three forks? All three three knives on the table and say, "Okay, guys, teach me." I've never I've never done this before. No, yeah, his etiquette is seven days etiquette old. is something you have to learn yeah, on your own. Well, not on your own, but you have to learn. You have to go get the rules by That's yourself. That's not what we're here for. What do you do? Say, go look at my channel in the middle of a live. Yeah, go look at my channel, and then he says, "Oh, I don't like these guys." Yeah. So, oh, really? Right, and again, you're you're oh, honestly, I'm okay. We I've we've had trolls. In the live, a lot it's of a, brand new a lot of people in of our members will say, "Yeah, actually, I let trolls in the room." But here's the thing: there's still rules. 
a troll can be a troll. It's a troll channel. As long okay. as, well, yeah. that's what I'm saying. I'm yeah, just saying. he's showing cartoons and a cat and footage that's not even Yeah, his. well, either way. So, so I'll take care Well, of I only that. brought it up because, again, you you asked. But anyway. Um, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. No, I'm sorry. And then, ako ni, uli ko, I prepared the necessary papers. Uh, wala pa may naka-istorya. Okay. okay. According to the last part of the video is, as of right now, there's new updates. There's new no no files charges. I'm saying, remember this. Actually, this video I believe was intentionally held, um, meaning they didn't release it up until X amount of time. I guess to be fair, because remember, media could be unfair. Okay, but you have to give the law this lawyer respect because he said everything objectively. He didn't say my client this, my client that. My client's innocent. He's going to walk. You know, he never said any of that. He says things by law, by the book, by the number. And you have to you have to give him respect for that. And um, ask Miyagi again. He says that, George, it's not the U.S. Just, no, it's not. It's not. And that's something you, you guys have to remember. It's not the way it works. Correct. No. Like I said, there. it's not the same. So just remember that, um, you know, jury by your peers, yada, yada, yada. You might as well throw that out the door. Um, same thing as, you know, depends on where you were incarcerated or detained at. Your treatment could vary, you know, it varies. I mean, I guess in the U.S., same thing, too, from what I've heard. I think different, um, you know, deten detention centers and different jails or prisons was it were have different treatment you know i guess it makes sense different different places different people as they always say now be aware that this video or audio of this lawyer is old as you guys can see i mean from what the lawyer is talking about however sorry i'm talking to the u.s embassy right right now. however what gives me confidence or you know confidence as in for me to say that this hasn't happened yet, meaning range 999, to the best of our knowledge, I can say in confidence that he is not out yet. The reason being is because honestly, Filipinos celebrate everything and anything and everything. And what I'm getting at, if range 999 is out, they're going to make, make a big deal out of it. They're going to blow it up on social media everywhere. Range 999 is out. Oh, hey, you know, Idol is out, as they say. You know, Idol is out. You know, well, I mean, obviously, that's not really need to stress it. Yeah, but the point... Ambassador Mary Kay Carlson. Right. She's the one that, like, when she does videos and conferences, you can join all of them. And she's the actual head. Um, I suggest you guys contact and rally because this went from everybody butchering Michael's name, an actual veteran. A father of two children, his girlfriend currently living um, here in the Philippines, um, which is in a Phil Am relationship. It's not his wife. Um, if this is even partially true, that would be really sad. Yeah. Text World says, Heidi, good to see you talking to the U.S. Embassy. Mike deserves to have his reputation preserved. And, and that's why people justice. should contact and and because it's kind of weird right now. I mean, I already get stairs to begin with. But I kind of feel like I'm getting yeah, extra Heidi stairs Heidi right did now. try to get through yesterday, but didn't succeed. But she did attempt yesterday. No, yes. they're talking to me right now. Yeah. So. Um, RNC. No, I actually did. We were just waiting for Mary um, yeah. to get back. This may have been covered, but what are the responsibilities of American Consulate and Embassy in this situation? Normally, if if it is the opposite, like the American actually did all of this, they would make sure they would go down, make sure that he has like all of his toiletries and they would check with vitamins and they would keep checking his status. They would give him a list of attorneys. Here's the things they don't do. They don't pay for the attorneys. They'll contact your family. They'll do some basic stuff, but it's very basic. OK, yeah. But here's the thing. When I started calling every hospital in Cebu on monday because we did we believe we were off on our lives they did not see him as a live patient they're they're claiming that he died sometime tuesday but like we were saying monday they were saying rest in peace 
in the United States. So maybe the family, like George says, they're going to contact that family before they release anything to the papers. So it was the papers that started spilling the beans first. So I think he had actually passed before Tuesday. For that reason, on the MMA websites and with his friends and his Instagram, they were already a rest in peace on Monday, which would have been Sunday. So it's almost like he had passed away Sunday, you know, because it happened Sunday morning, like at 6 a.m. And we mentioned that the medical is not the best here. Okay, so the rescue of him, I think he had actually passed away Sunday night or maybe even Monday. But I say everybody gets a hold of the embassy. We've already made contact. And in light of all this new information coming out and seeing how friendly he is and hearing how friendly he is and the shock of people, you know, the back in the United States, you know, he deserves the justice for sure. So at this point, I feel very strongly that it's very sad that this actually happened. Um, it's not the first time that uh, Jed Solera has popped off like this because he has been in the back. I do have footage or just Google it, guys. There is footage out there of him in the back of cop cars screaming at people. This is not his first go around with the law and the things that he has actually done. And right now, his fans are funding this stuff. He actually puts out an app that's a casino or something that he's involved with where people are signing up left and right and sending Gcash money. So now they're sending him money to fund all of this. So there's so much going on right now. Right. So that's kind of yeah and like um ruby says and miyagi says unfortunately the u.s embassy will let the local just system run its course they will because one one it has to respect the laws of the country they're in it doesn't matter which u.s embassy you're at i believe same thing with uk and australia they follow somewhat similar rules doesn't matter wherever their um citizens are at they basically just sit there and observe they're not really it can give you legal counsel, assist you in legal counsel, but that's about it. And um, I believe, like, um, like I said, I'm not, I'm not downing anybody by any means, but um, like, Tex World says, what the heck are the U.S. consular officials doing? In the Philippines doing? Surely they're aware. Of it. The thing is, and a lot of people don't realize this. There's like what about 93 million, 93 million expats. Oh. 93 million or oh no there's a couple hundred thousand okay there. a couple hundred thousand yeah. okay so i'm off for that. <laughs> well i i said in the world i believe is the one number I gave. oh but but yeah. well what i'm saying is okay let's say in the philippines alone there's two hundred thousand. the probability of somebody having the same birthday as you are in a crowd is 30 to 1. that's a very small number a lot of people don't realize how small that number is 30 to 1 Odds are the same person. Okay. So one person has the same birthday as you are. And those are very low odds if you think about it. What I'm getting at is the odds of somebody having the exact same problem as you is actually really high. And the consulates all over the world can't save everybody. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, yeah. And they're, they're going to only get so involved in this right now. Being he was the one that was shot, I suspect they're gathering every bit of information right now. Just like this is all starting to leak out and officially things haven't been done. They're going to wait a little bit. They're going to wait this out. So families, I'm sure, of course, has been contacted. But the embassy hasn't made any statement whatsoever. So George says they probably won't, but I'm still surprised that they haven't, you know, because they're always talking about this and that and this incident and, you know, warnings about this or be careful on that. And I get it, but it's still an American that actually passed away. Right. Hey, Philippines and beyond. How hey, you what's going on? Good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, I just, just got was taking a massage here and I was listening to your uh, live stream and uh, let this be a lesson lesson to everybody that's watching this uh, I do believe that the Filipino will go to jail or will be tried and here's the reason why uh, tourism is huge in the Philippines right and yes. a lot of politicians make a lot of money off of tourism 
and they're going to most likely have to do use this guy's scapegoat and put him in jail just so that right. tourism does not fall off the, you know people i mean people don't want to be afraid to come to the philippines right to go on <laughs> vacation so i think they will make an example of this guy i think he will be going to jail uh but here's an interesting catch here <clears throat> In order, and again, this is kind of what I, my understanding of, of the Philippine laws here, someone has to come up and file a case against this guy, right? Now, obviously, the guy that got shot and killed, the American can't do it. He can't file a case. So someone has to come up and file a case with the prosecutor for this guy to be prosecuted. That's my understanding. I could be totally wrong. And if I am, let me know. So if nobody files a case with the prosecutor, technically, this guy could get off. Now, I don't think they, they're going to let him get off. They will change the bend the rule or whatever, bend the law. This guy will need to go to jail because, again, like I said, the politicians make a lot of money uh, from mm -hmm. this, uh, and they're not going to let this guy off. Now, here's some mistakes that the, quote, American made. And, again, I'm not for the American. I'm not for the Filipino. These are – this is just a lesson that you guys better learn, those of you that think about going to any – foreign country uh and and this this killing is very similar to the one that happened in dumaguete do you guys remember in dumaguete at the zanzibar bar back in wow seven eight years ago you remember that that killing of the american uh, serviceman 2 right. 30 in the morning there's alcohol involved guy might have been hitting on the guys girls uh, filipinas in the bar but it was mostly a filipino bar they didn't like it the guy comes out of the bar starts a fight with a couple of Filipinos, but he didn't know that these guys called backup prior to them going outside. So there was about six, six Filipinos came up on a scooter and then there was already two in the bar. So there was eight guys that beat up this guy. So when you come to the Philippines, you want to get into a fight with a Filipino, it's not going to be one-on-one. -on -one, I guarantee you that it's going to be about eight, 10 guys. They're going to jump you. That's one problem. How about the, how about the American that got killed in Greece? How about that guy? Remember? Uh, African American guy just got out of college, educated. Uh, he's into the fashion industry. He was in Greece to, looking for work or something. He was at a bar on some island off of Greece, mostly frequented by Serbians. He was hitting on one of the barmaids, most likely she was Serbian, and about 15 guys. I saw the video, chased them down the street, tackled them against a car, killed them. So there's they don't play games here when you come to a foreign country. Uh, a lot of people don't like Americans, unfortunately. So you got to be under your best behavior. Better to keep low profile, as I would highly suggest. Stay out of bars at 2.30 in the morning. I mean, come on, man. It's the worst thing you can do when there's mm -hmm. alcohol involved and people are already looking at you like, they're going to be jealous of you anyway because you got money. Well, That's yeah, and they actually, the girls were saying, the ones that have contacted me, including a third party that said she knew the girls, actually said that everything was going smooth in the beginning. So it was like he was paying for, you know, stuff. He was giving big tips, which would have well, been another, flashy. Another the mistake. guys were flocking to the table, and so were right. the women. He's nicely yeah. built. He's young. And all the factors were actually there. But me and George, do you actually believe he was there to do something with the embassy? Maybe passport oh. for his daughter? Uh, you know what? Uh, possibly. Did he have Filipino kids? Did he have Filipino kids? Did, was his kids Filipino? Or he was, was he looking to... I'm not well, sure. Well, you're right. Doing. Right. But still, he could still file papers there with the embassy is what I'm saying. They're Thai kids, but he could get an American passport for them. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure about that situation, uh, but keep in mind, the embassy is an entity, it's a business, okay? They're there to make money. As a matter of fact, the embassy, U.S. Embassy in Manila is probably the most profitable embassy in the whole world. I mean, yeah. just on visa fees alone, uh, tourist visa fees, I think they take in a thousand a day. And back then, years ago, it used to be 130 bucks to put in a tourist visa, you know, to pay for... Uh, uh, to put in an application for a tourist visa fee. I don't know what it is now. I'm sure it's much higher than that. But I, I speculated years ago, we were talking about that with some friends. That embassy there probably makes anywhere from 2 to $3 million a day on fees and all kinds of other services. Yeah. They don't care about you. You're just a number. They don't right. care about you. You don't, don't care own. about you. They really don't care. They'll come and see you. 
they're only going to come if you go to jail or whatever. They're only going to come and see you there uh, to see what's going on. But they also want to keep a, how should I say, have a certain image uh, that <clears throat> for the Americans and the American embassy. They don't care about you. You're on your own. Just just remember that you are on your own. That's how yeah, kind of like the that. U.S. government so themselves in the United States. It's, it's extremely sad what happened here. But part of it was, I hate to say, part of it was the guy's fault throwing money around. Why are you doing in a club, 2.30 in the morning, throwing money around and having these girls all over you? That's a foolish thing to do. Foolish thing. Go in there. You know, if you're going to throw some money, buy a round and, you know, may have a couple beers and get the hell out way before. Two right. He was there for a long time. Because from the footage, that was about 2 a.m. and he left at 6. He was there probably early on, too, of course. Yeah, so. yeah. And they're not going to protect you. Uh, the, uh, the, they, have no, they don't have to protect you. I don't care if the club has uh, bodyguards or, how should I say, a door, people at the door. They're not going to protect you. You're, you're a foreigner. Keep that in mind. You're a foreigner in a foreign country, plain and simple. Uh, but I think this guy will go to jail. I think this guy will. Uh, the Philippines has to hold face here. They have to do something if they want to stay in good terms uh, you know, with the United States. They're going to have to do something here. And they will. They will. Uh, it's, it's, again, it's, it's very sad. It's sad. Uh, but, uh, you know, again, it happens all the time. <laughs> it just happens all the time. Yeah. Not just here, but in many countries. Yeah, I think what kind of changes this one is he's a major um a battle rapper he's got millions of followers and so yeah. and it's the way it's being you know there's a reputation being tarnished too you know him being you know so it's it's one heck of a story well i'm, I'm sorry i i couldn't help myself like sorry to interrupt um the battle rapper thing there's it's not what you guys think you know when eminem battled and um, battle rap eminem battle rap that's a battle rap and the guys in mma no i watch range 999 sorry filipinos i hate to say this but he he wouldn't stand a candle in in a u.s battle rap just saying again i'm not being partial here or impartial any particular race or country French 999 as far as, as far as battle rap right if you guys watch his battle raps like oh, okay i see what george is talking about just saying just to be fair to everybody <laughs> all right so um hey k dallas thank you so much i appreciate your thank support thank you k dallas yeah now i think that's what changed it and this has been covered by like i said tons of filipinos that's what's really been out there and until we hit 11,000, 11, actually we're at 12 on the views because we put this on Facebook and um, YouTube at the same time simultaneously, we've been receiving all kinds of messages. You can only imagine. And there, you know, the one yesterday was she was just spilling some beans yesterday, you know. And then it kind of hit us, you know, with the footage inside and one newspaper saying that he arrived, that he was called in and actually she even goes into more information um she's let's see if i can find her messages here again because in the end she was saying that he belonged to some sort of group and all kinds of things was spilled um and that's another thing um yeah Did she is did, did you guys notice when that article first came out about the shooting, they mentioned the waterfront hotel, and then the very next day, all the news agencies took the name out, take the name off the, took the waterfront's name out and just yeah. put something like in a parking lot or something like that. They just didn't want the bad right place. yeah but it was too late a bunch of people already covered that yeah. I, the first one i seen on there was nico that filipino and a bunch of filipinos had put stuff out and our live stream wasn't supposed to be till tuesday and then sunshine shoulders came out with the story and he sat down and talked about it and george's like you sure you don't want us to talk about it right now so i'll just wait till tuesday and we wanted to gather more information and uh but yes i noticed that they actually did but what people don't realize is 
although it's leaking all through social media, sometimes that's where some of the best clues actually tend to come up. It's, um, you know, it's, but everything's, yeah, of course, been leaked out there. As a matter of fact, it was social media that put it all out there first. It was yeah, through right. YouTube and Facebook where all the videos are leaking right now. I mean, look, uh, I, I feel that the Philippines is a pretty safe country, at least for me, for where I came from. It, it's pretty safe. But, you know, yes. you get drive-bys in Manila. You, uh, you, you get drive-bys. They do drive-bys in Manila, believe it or not. <laughs> I mean, they do. So it happens, probably and obviously not as bad as the United States. But, uh, you know, again, it's just putting yourself in a, in a situation where something could happen. And that's what you have to be careful. And that's why I think uh, a lot of people tend to let their guard down. Uh, I mean, obviously, don't walk around like you're afraid. But, hey, you know, you're not in your home country. You're, the, the laws in your home country don't apply here. You have to remember that. These laws here are a lot different. Uh, mm -hmm. So, again, what you think uh, it's a slam dunk case here uh, may not be. You know, it's because it's a different country, different laws. Right. And I tell people it should really apply. Like I wouldn't go walking around Miami or in clubs late at night. You know, when I used to go to Miami all the time or Tampa, it's things like that. And then I don't know why people feel so much freer when they come to another country and they don't apply those situations, especially in this day and age. I could see if this was like 1975 or 85 or 95, maybe where it was a little safer, but like in the United States is what I was talking about, but it's a, it's, it is very sad. Um, Victoria says, do you think, uh, I was wondering if the American embassy would do, I can't see it anymore. Yeah. Would call for an independent investigation. Do you think they'll do any of that or they'll make nope. a statement? Uh, I don't think they may make a state. They may not even make a statement. They want, they want to keep this hush hush. <laughs> I'm sure they do. Uh, they, mm -hmm. they won't, they may do an independent investigation about for themselves, uh, but I, they're not, they don't want to put anything out in the media here. They really don't. I mean, we're talking yeah. about you got bases coming. You know, you got bases here in the Philippines again, right? I think didn't we renew bases, uh, leases on bases here? We've got military here. We've got problems with China. So, no, uh, I think what I'm sure the Americans are talking to the uh, Filipinos and saying, all right, what are we going to do here? You know, and and try to come to some kind of resolution. <coughs> but uh, I don't think it'll be, I don't know. It, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Uh, but we'll, you'll, we'll know in the next few months. You know, it'll be a while. It'll yeah, a while. it'll take a little bit, yeah. Right. Um, Text World says, George, those PNA women has, must have had a fault with their so-called invisible barrier you were telling us about the other day. Actually, I've been telling you guys this over and over again. When you have women flocking in your lap, here's their sign. <laughs> what I'm saying is, it, it doesn't matter what part of the world you're in, women will not throw themselves at your lap. Okay? Even the most forward women, because I've been approached with really forward women, really sophisticated, high-class women. I mean, again, one of them was actually like a... Um, like a like he, she was on the newspaper, she was a martial artist and she asked me out. She's straightforward. But the thing is, is even then they don't throw themselves at your lap. It's done slyly. It's done through conversation. It's done, you know, they're not going to touch you. They're not going to like, you know, throw themselves at you literally. But when women or Filipinas throw themselves at you, stay away from them. It doesn't matter what country you're in. You guys should know what I'm talking about. If women throw themselves at a guy, period, like that, mm -hmm. there's something wrong. Right. You know, it's kind of like, um, I'm they're hookers. Go. <laughs> they're hookers. I mean, that's what they are. Basically, they're yeah, hookers. They're, they're looking for money. Any right. woman that comes up to you when you're in the Philippines, that's the ones you you want to run the other way because they're looking for money. They're they're going to come up to hustle you or whatever they've done. So good women don't come up to guys. <laughs> no, they don't. they don't. Well, yeah, like I was saying, the actual girl, one of the other girls was saying that they look like ladies of the night that were approaching. But they said there were all kinds of them around them that night. 
but they said they looked like they were dressed for business. <laughs> oh, I'm sure right. it was for that kind of hotel, and that's a casino, right? There's a casino in that. Yeah, hotel, it's a casino. Right? Yeah. 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 So, it, again, yeah. It was actually in the Agua Bar itself, because uh, there's different sections of of the actual hotel. So they've right. got like a main bar where the restaurant is, but there seems to be a side one, and that's the name of it. There is called Agua. Uh, okay. And the real pro. Oh, go ahead, George. I'm sorry. Yeah. And the real problem is, like what Ruby says, would anyone come forward to give their official statement as witnesses to the incident? Most people would stay away and would not want to be involved. And that's the problem. It's the non involvement. It's none of my business. I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah. Well, there'll be retaliation. If, they, if somebody comes forward, one of these girls, most likely they're dead. There'll be retaliation against them. They will get killed. That's yeah, it I says that he's something. in some sort of that he's into something. There's several things that he's into, no doubt. Yeah. I mean, he's he's living the life. Although we have footage of him crying like a sissy girl, you know. But well, it looks like he's already been in jail before and all of that. But yes, that's what they're afraid of. I'm sure there would be. That's exactly why who's the people that have contacted us are on the down low right now. Well, yeah, it's it's the uh, the best way to get rid of a lawsuit against you is to get rid of the person that's filing the lawsuit against you. I mean, yeah, especially that's, here. That's how they do it. That's how they do it here. Hey, anyway, guys, I just want to come in just for a couple of minutes. I got to run out the door, but hey, thanks. Oh, for thank you so much for helping us and beyond. Hey, thank you. Sure. Hopefully, this is a good lesson uh, that everybody should uh, really pay right. attention to this live stream. Take care, guys. All right, thank you so much. Um, Victoria says, yeah, it seems like a setup. Um, that's my take from the beginning of watching the footage. Um, Jane and Travel says, defending girl's honor that he didn't even witness. And see, that's the thing. It's a big PR move on his part. That's, that's what he said. Because um, honestly, this is what the, the masses are buying, which makes sense. Because it's one of, those, um, one of those things that the first statement makes the biggest impact. You know what I'm saying? Um, LMR DiMagico says it's um, Rangers Clown Posse. Um, Tax World says, Heidi, it's touching to see your, your compassion for what happened to him. It's been wearing on me. We were trying to debate as of yesterday. George wanted to go live last night after we were contacted all day. And I start thinking about he throws up gang signs. I'm quite aware of what he's doing. I'm not a fool. But I'm not afraid either. And I, I will stand. I told George, I said, when you start covering little things, even the other vloggers, people get serious and send threats and all of this stuff. And it's like, should we cover this? Do we? And we decided to actually push through on everything that we've been covering here lately. And I told him, I said, you know, this kind of puts us out in the spotlight a little bit more. And I'm like, no, let's do it. Let's do and, this footage. And be aware we are in the Philippines. And the reason why I brought that up is because we're actually going against the popular filipino vote if that makes any sense yeah we're going against as usual we're going against the grain um because that's what's really happening in my opinion and actually again a lot of you agree okay this side makes sense michael's side makes sense a lot more sense than the other side and you know and actually we we do have concerns i wouldn't be surprised if we get lots of tons of hate mail after this um, well, the Filipino vloggers are getting it, too. The one guy claims he's going to stop. He's done like five or six. His name is uh, Nico. And he said that he's received all kinds of it. Mm -hmm. Basically, he's saying that he's getting most of the hate where people are supporting that he's sticking to a story that this American, you know, this entitled American has actually been, it was touching the girls and disrespecting people in the club. And it just wasn't the girls. They're saying he was just rude. You just seen his footage at 2.30 in the morning. He was offering to do tattoos for his crew. So I don't see any hate in that. Others have been coming forward. I'm not buying that anymore. You know, before we said we weren't really taking sides. And being the rapper admitted what he did. And it's clear what he did. And there's been no voice for the American. I want to be that voice at this point. So it, it's not fair. It's not not after hearing from the girls. And I truly believe it's some of the girls in the club and other bystanders that are coming forward. Right. So I believe them. 
Now, Ruby says all these videos will not matter in court unless a witness steps in. No, that is true. No statement from a witness will most likely free this accused. I don't know if it'll free him. Um, I believe, um, I don't know if, I don't remember if we made that statement. We've covered this. I think this is the third video we've done. Um, I don't believe we said that. I don't know. I don't think he'll go free. Right. Well, Neil says it's basically cold-blooded. Um, and Janin says this that was a setup outside. This was a premeditated attack. So a friendly arm around him and it all changed. Right, exactly, right? It's like friendly, you know, gestures and the next thing you know it turned. Um That's the argument here, actually, is don't need a witness statement. He admitted it's on video. He admit he did do what he did. The thing he can't recant is he did it in self-defense because he already said why he did it. Now, still, a, a, we still don't know what's going on legally. Again, it's there's some radio science on the legal, legal side. But like I said, um, the indication that Range 999 is still incarcerated is because there's no media coverage. Like I said, this... It's going to be a big deal if he gets released, put it that way. Um, I don't understand the question about the camera angle. Um, oh, Illuminar says there's an edited CCTV footage showing that foreigner being a I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, cool. Um, about ready to drop, 36 hours drop, went by with, with no filing. Well, we've heard different, but then again, we don't know. Although that for just sure. came out yesterday. Right now, he is too open to the public on his webpage. He would be saying, I'm free. He'd be talking about it right now. And I get his attorney might have told him to be on the download, but I doubt he could keep this quiet. Here in the Philippines, social media, there's a lot of chismas and people talking. They'll say, hey, I seen him out. Anything that's happened to him, including where he was laying on the ground after his um, stroke last year, it was public everywhere. And he posted his own stuff. So believe me, he's going to say he's out if he's out. No, it will so be very public. Yes. It'll be very public. And I've looked all morning. I have for the last 24 hours have had my nose to the actual ground after this. these girls are actually talking to us. Now, here's the thing, as Text World says, this is true. The rapper admitted on video his motive was not related to fear of Mike or self-defense. It was all about defending the women's honor. Uh -huh. Even though the women themselves do not back him up. Correct. And these girls that contacted us yesterday say that they're, they're not backing him up, that no one is. And I don't understand. I've seen more footage than George. So there was his ex-friend that's come forward and talked. But remember, it's in Cebuano. So George only understands every couple words. I can translate text messages and audio, okay? Or not audio, but text messages that come from people. But the audio, we have a device that can, but it takes a little bit. But some of it actually does come out in Tagalog from people too. But a lot of it is Cebuano. So different, it's different dialects, right? Right. No, no, I don't, I don't. Yeah. Um, Elmar, Eliminar de Magico says, even me, ugly Magico is treated like Brad Pitt by Filipinas. Victoria. Well, the problem, the reason, well, the security, I guess, would be the ones in question here. Hey, Black uh, Grandpa. Victoria says, what shocks me, no one in the group outside rendered assistance after the SUV left or so it appears. Now, right. the other people in the crowd are all of um, Range 999's crew. Mm -hmm. Okay, The only ones that are not involved technically are the security. Now, did they run, did the security run after, um, you know, after Range 99 left? It's possible because remember, it, it cuts off right after he pulls out. Because remember, I mean, if you're a security guard, you see somebody get, X down with with some weapon. Are you gonna go over there and have a possibility of getting, you know, be a casualty too? 
I'm saying these and guys. Are, been a lot of yeah, and these guys are minimum wage players. employees. Remember that. And again, odds are, odds are, did they go over there after the video? Probably yes. I'm I'm just saying because it's a Filipino way to do. But until he left, of course they're not going to do anything. Like, oh crap! If I go over there, I might be next. You know what I'm saying. Um, guys, again, we've dropped the link to StreamYard so you can join up and give us um, your thoughts on this. Um, this is a discussion today. We want to hear from anyone, even Filipinos, Filipinas, um, anybody that might have seen something <laughs> if they want to talk, any, anything actually going on. So, yeah, Miyagi says again, you know those kind of weapons don't discriminate again doesn't matter it really doesn't matter what yeah it's no surprise mm -hmm. um that he had succumbed to his injuries we did mention that's what i was going to mention earlier is we did mention that the medical especially ambulances are not fully equipped or the medical is not the best here as far as that's why if you guys the guys that are coming here that are going straight out to a province area and then you guys have no idea how many guys we spoke to through video that have said, oh, I've got this medical problem and that medical problem. I just had this surgery a couple of years ago. And we just kind of cringe, you know, because a lot of these guys are, aren't full hospitals anywhere nearby. They keep thinking in their mind that these ambulances are going to fully roll up with several people on it, jumping off like it's an ER show or something. And it doesn't happen like that. And he was in Cebu City and there were several hospitals private and public nearby. There were, I think they counted 10 that were in the surrounding area and crazy guys. He still didn't make it. Well, even in the US, be aware that not every hospital is a trauma center. Right. So don't think that, I mean, in the US, this is one of the US we're talking about. Now, if every hospital is not a trauma center, it doesn't mean that you take somebody of the same injuries, what just happened to Michael, and you take them to the hospital, they can take care of them right away and then they can fix everything. No, only mm -hmm. only trauma centers are equipped for that. You know what I'm saying? Now, can they? Yes. But will they? And can they do it in time? Do they have the what they needed? That all is all up in the air. Um, Cole Paul says, I appreciate you covering the story. You're professional as ever. Thank you, Heidi and George. Thank you so much. Yeah, I know it's kind of rough when we cover some stuff because my emotions get involved, and there's two of us. It's not like when you'll see several social media outlets or like Nico, the Filipino vlogger. It's just him doing the story. And it is hard when there are two people trying to cover it. And then, you know, especially when we break out early like we did, we came back a day or two later with some additional stuff. and. So now we feel we've got a real good handle on what's going on. And I just told George, and a lot of people are thinking it's me pushing it because of my American drama and everything. And honestly, it's not. If George says it, believe me, George is like, let's do it tonight. And I'm like, no, he goes, somebody else is going to come up with something new or something that's not true. And we kind of felt like, you know, it, you know, it needed to come out. And of course, like I said, we'll get the, you know, none of your business, and then we say none of your business back, and you know, yeah, and them same trolls won't actually come out either. Now, Victoria says there wasn't any media from the U.S. There's a little, but not a lot. No, not a whole bunch. I mean, it's not from the newspapers. No, I wouldn't be surprised if it is covered here shortly. So, Barry in the Philippines says I appreciate the new footage and information. Um, RNC says I appreciate your efforts, Heidi and George. Well, snowman, we see that, but I'm not going to put we, that we up can't on the screen. That, We're not really we can't, allowed we to can't say really the put charges. Up that word. Yeah, but um, it—that's the new one that is coming out. It went from one charge, which is almost like attempted. You know, you know that word. So and basically, the charge got upgraded. Yes. Upgraded to that. Yes. Yes. That's what they're saying, but they're saying officially. The attorney, just as of yesterday, said there's no paperwork filed. It does happen like that, guys. Right. But. I, I believe strongly, and it should have been mentioned earlier, that because of the um, tourism industry is why a lot of this will be pushed. Yeah. Um, and I think because he's an MMA fighter and the other guy's a rapper, that's what brought it forward. 
But if this just would have been a regular guy here in Angel City, a lot of it just gets swept under the carpet, you know, like the incidents you've heard about. But I think it'll really be pushed now. You know, the guy was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I don't believe that he deserved it or I don't believe it should go. Oh, he shouldn't have been there. We did mention he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. What's he doing out? You know, lesson to the expats here. You know, you shouldn't have been out. You shouldn't be out late. Yeah, don't go out late like that, guys. It's kind of crazy. Tax World says Mike doesn't deserve his reputation tarnished. It's being tarnished. <laughs> um, yes, AJ Hap. Uh, well, it is. Well, we said it was going to be spilled the tea Friday. Technically, yes. Are we going to go live tomorrow? Probably. George needs fish sandwiches. Well, probably. I don't know. What? I don't know. I'll, I'll see if I'll allow it. Told you he's running the show. Um, oh, there it goes. Look at, your, look at your chunky monkey over there. Look at her. She can't even. She's laying her belly on the ground as she's eating her food. Chloe, the puppy. Uh, actually... We're not believing she's too much of a puppy right now. Heidi says, like you emotionally said, Mike was led outside like a lamb to slaughter. After being misled, to well, think the Pinoy men were his friends. Exactly why the arm was around. We said that in the last one. I said, look how they're befriending him right up to the moment the car ran up. And the girl said he wasn't even there. He showed up after he was called. All right. Now, Sad. someone says he bled out and security guards and the gang members were watching and refused that. Like I said, I'm pretty sure they went over him after, um, you know, Range 99 drove off. But like I said, they're probably just didn't want to endanger themselves. Now, well, the gangbangers were Range 99's crew, so they're not going to help them, period. Um, mm -hmm. But the security, however, they probably did call the cops and ambulance and they probably did try to see what they could do. I'm just saying in, in their defense, I know it's not on camera, but it's it's human nature for filipinos to help out but like i said they probably just didn't want to get involved while range 999 was there um there there it is money and a skilled lawyer will go a long way again it's not the u.s justice system well even in the u.s you can get away with that for sure with the money but i think he'll be funded by his fans and he'll I feel they'll let him out temporarily until things get. So it won't surprise me. That's for sure. No now, Jan traveled the Philippines. Range uses, you know, firearms in his he music does. videos, as well as typical. Well, actually, not just his music videos, his regular videos that he, he posts on Facebook. He actually has released. If you guys go on yeah. to Facebook and put in Range 999, we can't show it, but it shows him recently using two firearms and he's running through shooting things. So it's just all of, all of it is there. All of it is there shows him in a cop car, throwing a fit, screaming at people. And so his behavior is like all over the place. Is that going to get him prosecuted? No, but it kind of shows his character too. The character is now on the line of Mike. And now his daughter that is here, that is 12 years old, he has custody over the uh, Thai wife that he has divorced. And it was him and her, because he has custody of her. There is a son, but the son is with the other mother. The, the other mother lost custody of the daughter. And if he, she lost custody. That's really bad. So he's been raising her. And then he's got his new girlfriend that he's been with. It's just all sad. Right. It's very sad. So now she's left behind. And now his name's just being tarnished. The people in the U.S. is like, what? What's really going on? You know, could you imagine his family there in Alabama? I'm to understand he's from the Alabama area. I could be wrong. But I keep hearing Alabama is what they're saying. And I could only imagine. Right. Now, Stoneman says, because the video. Like, what do you mean? the kid. Oh, uh, it sounds now, like Now, Stoneman says, because the video does not lie. And Miyagi says, unfortunately, a skilled lawyer can spin videos. Actually, that's very true. The thing is, mm -hmm. is the narrative or the story, as it were, can change the video itself. For example, the video we just played back, like um, this one again, just real quick. If I tell you what's going, if I narrate to you what's going on in a different light, it can mean a completely different thing. Well, you've heard several of us cover it. Right. So, and now that the, 
Michael's story is coming on his light. side coming to light. You can see, that right? story makes more sense, but the other one kind of makes sense, if that makes any sense. But it's just proof that the story changes everything. It's the same video, but when you change the story, it changes meaning. Um, yes, yeah, Samyagi is absolutely correct. Um, guys, there is a link inside of the live so, stream and pinned to the top for you guys to join. That is for sure. We'd love to hear from you. Hi, Heidi, did you catch news reporter Alan Domingo offering Ranges Moms telling me to talk to him? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> really? They're saying there was an interview with the dad, yes, but I wouldn't doubt it. It could be that simple. That's for sure. I told George if we would just hop on a plane, I'm sure we could sit there and talk to Range right now. I'm sure he would talk to us all day long right now. And they would let us in. It's not like jail in the United States where you have to make arrangements, wait for visiting days, get all these permits, and get all this crap together to visit someone in jail or prison. No, here, pretty much just walk up to the station and say, hey, I'm here. And they more than likely would let us in, not not even a, and he would probably sit there and talk to us. But I, it's just the way it is. But yes, I believe that. I believe that. No takers on anybody going to join the live stream? Got 117 people in the room. You guys don't have to put your photo well, up. Carl you can just use your voice. Carl says, morning, why don't they get the girls? And in interview, and my point is, if it's about... They probably will, I'm sure. Maybe, maybe not, but... <clears throat> Again, they probably won't don't want to be involved. And to my understanding, most of these girls are part of his posse, and that's why there's a problem in the first place. And remember, it's not a jury by trial and by his peers or the Filipinos. It'll be by a judge. So we don't believe personally he's got that kind of money. Like he's not Rafi Tufo being arrested and could buy somebody possibly or get a lenient you know because he knows somebody that's he doesn't have that kind of power like people are talking it's just all like a, a dream tax world says the lawyer's doing a great job this makes fair points from the defense point of view but if it gets thrown out it's an international disgrace upon the philippines reputation now again remember that even if it did okay i'm not i'm not condoning condoning anything but what i'm saying is be aware that they have been expats who clearly did wrong things to Filipinos and the law let the expats walk. So what I'm saying, I understand, again, I'm not trying to take sides on this on pro-Filipino side or pro-American side. The point is... There's a new light on this case the, for sure. Well, what I'm saying is, it's however it swings, it swings both ways, again. Um, it's kind of like expats. Like George's love life. Well, no, no. <laughs> it's like I said, the most common thing that you will hear. If you're talking to an expat, expats will always say, oh, Filipinos get away with everything. Mm -hmm. And then if you talk to the Filipino side, the Filipinos say, oh, expats get away with everything. What I'm getting at is yeah, it swings both ways, guys. Again, um, trying to give you now views there. I can't tell you which way this particular case will swing but so far right now it's leaning towards on michael's side but that could change and don't think again it's philippines is pro filipino don't say that and don't say that philippines is pro american either don't say that either because again it's kind of weird it's a matter of perspective um hold on Well, just facts. He already stated his reason, but again, it's it's not enough to basically exony a person for what he did. No, and right now that defense just fell apart, all apart. It's the same as we brought forward, expat John. I'll keep mentioning that these people will creep forward. They want to be heard, and I believe these girls. I really do. It makes sense. And then the footage dropped. Play that footage again. Which one? The one of him in the club. 
There could be different people. We've been in this for two hours. We're going to play the club footage again. For those of you who missed it. Yeah, because I'm sure they're, because everybody switches out about every 10, 15 minutes. Hey, 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 you got a gun? You have to drive us. You got a gun? Guns. There's Michael. Yeah, he was offering to do a tattoo. He asked, do you have a tattoo gun? Everything was fine at 2.30 a.m. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, if you have a tattoo gun, I get it. But as you can see, that is his posse around. There is no Range 999. There is no Jed Solera, according to several eyewitnesses that are telling us he arrived after the fact. He came after he was called when the guys felt what I would call butt hurt. So then he actually showed up. Also, I have a newspaper article that I read earlier from the Cebu newspaper, Daily News, and it actually states, and I'll get that again. Okay, well, that's the actual. Let me get it here. Police Major Romero Kakoy, chief of the Mabolo Police Station, said that Solera was not at the bar when the commotion had happened inside. He was not there. In a separate interview with a radio station, it was said that a commotion happened inside the bar where then the incident happened way before Solera arrived in the area. Cebu Daily News. And that was recent. So in light of hearing from the girls, in light of hearing from, because we have 12, maybe 14,000 views on the previous uh, video that we released through Facebook, we've had lots of messages. And most of them are saying that he was called in to do this. So he's saying it's because the girls were inappropriately touched. The new messages coming in state that the actual girls were all over him like a wet rag. And I'm sure you men have been in the clubs or bars and seen the girls with this type of behavior. They're saying he was full of muscles. He was strong looking. He was handsome. He was spending money. He was being super friendly and generous. Arms around him at the club arms around him outside the club at 6 a.m. when all of a sudden from a far distance coming from his alleged home, he actually rolls in. He's kicked from behind, fell into the car, angry, I would have been, and at that point went for the door. And that's when they're, actually some people have even said that he was, that he was, that he somewhat attacked the rapper at that point when he swung open the door and he got what he deserved. Now, when we looked at that, Footage the other day, we said it looks like he provoked by opening the door. And we said, don't do what you wouldn't do in the U.S. So you wouldn't run up on somebody and swing open their door in the middle of a confrontation. So, but that doesn't mean he deserved to receive an injury that caused him to expire. And that's where we are on this right now. So. Yeah, somebody did mention about what about the gun charge. So think about that. They're going to turn him loose on that. They do notice that the attorney, that was mostly what he was talking about, was the, so. Well, actually, um, it's not as cut and dry as people think. And it's not as, it. I get what the attorney says. But it, he also somewhat said that technically the police can file charges against him too. He said that. Um, 
So they're just waiting for somebody, including what they would consider. I the think government I think fight. that's what it is. They're trying to see if somebody else would step forward versus the state, as it were, as you would call it in the U.S. You know what I'm saying? Um, I believe in the U.S. they do the same thing. Is um, by default they see if somebody files charges, and then they don't file. If the state prosecutor that hasn't filed a charge yet then the state prosecutor decides okay nobody's filed a charge yet um you know we file a complaint then it goes on their desk i'm like okay but i believe it's the same thing here too however this is where the um where a lot of um foreigners say the buyout occurs is this is where again let's say nobody has filed a complaint it's easier to make the buyout as it were during that time when nobody has filed a complaint yet because they're like oh okay no charges oh well, oh well no no charges are filed wash my hands uh -huh. conscious violate let them go or let you know whatever but you guys get the picture um Yeah, well, yeah, AJ, yes, of course. What people in life are not understanding is that the Philippines courts are so much different than the U.S. and other countries, correct? Correct. Yeah. Yeah, George is going to go through. I'm talking to a few people. Um, Brent says, I don't care what anyone says. This was a planned hit. In the video, it showed after he was on the ground, all the people were just walked away, even security. Even security dirt bag idiots. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's, we were kind of thinking that, and we kind of leaked that out in the previous videos that something didn't seem right. Even George said it. Yeah. And AJ but, Hap says, and once that person is known, they'll be harassed by their, even by their family, even their families. What he's saying is if anybody comes forward, and that's also, again, it, it's, it's an issue. That's why a lot of people don't want to get involved. Nope, but they did on the side. So that's where things kind of... Yeah, Heidi, good to see you talking to the U.S. Embassy. Mike deserves to have his reputation preserved and to have justice, yes. Yeah. Um, we got a hold of somebody yesterday, but as far as getting a hold of Mary Kay, the head over there, uh, she has not returned, you know, and that would be at the Philippine Embassy. But I just officially sent a message in writing you know, asking, you know, hey. Yeah. So, Illuminar okay. says it all started with jealousy, it turned to be a setup and ending with ending as a pity party. Yeah. It's uh it's kinda crazy. Yeah, forgotten times, yeah. Um, countries that are friendly with each other allow local law and justice system to function without interference, sign treaty to do that effect. Meaning, again, the U the embassies, you know, not necessarily U.S., by default, they're really not uh, supposed to interfere with politics, crime, and that kind of stuff. They can provide, like I said, by usually the, if, they, if a representative does show up from the consulate for you, let's say you're incarcerated, they'll try to help you get legal counsel you know i'm saying they're not even going to pay for your lawyer they're just going to try to help you get legal counsel um yeah and illuminar says like barry j incarcerated in mandala for 11 months the u.s embassy only does welfare checks meaning they're just going to see hey how are you doing are you okay here are you being mistreated are you you know that kind of stuff Travel trends that means we need to stop sending tax dollars to the Philippines. Well, the tax dollars, um, I not defending the Philippines, but the tax dollars are mostly going somewhere else. <laughs> not the Philippines, just saying. And the ones that are going to the Philippines are the ones provided by the expats by, you know, being clients, customers, you know, being here, spending their Social Security checks and their pensions in the Philippine economy. Um, Snowman says your channel is very good. Thank you so much. 
Oh, Ryan Day already went to bed. All right. Night, Ryan Day. Now, it's possible that this has happened. Um, AJ says, hoping the U.S. consulate will do something to help his family. Contact the U.S. Embassy and com complain about what's happening would help more than talking about here in life. Won't help. No, I get that. but Which it, we have. It's possible that they did make the necessary contact. But other than that, that's as far as they'll ever go, if that makes any sense. I think it'll actually help. And this is a discussion. People have been talking about it. And nobody, in my personal opinion, except for one other channel, one, they've, others have discussed it. Other American expats have discussed this. There is one other foreign expat that's from, he said where he was from, but he said he knew him last year. And he put it out. Like I said, he's got a small channel. Like He's got a big TikTok. But his YouTube channel stays at a few hundred views, and he's actually put this out and said, oh, I'm going to wait a few days to get over this and re-talk about it. And then two hours later, he puts out another video. So he wanted to get it off his chest. He knew him, um, and I, you know, he wants justice, too. And because we started looking up to get more footage to actually put on today, but I feel it needs to be discussed. All the Filipinos are. So why not an American female expat and her husband? We've been down. Every time we cover something, it's been covered by other expats. It's been covered by other Filipinos. Same topics, but the moment we do, it's mind your business, you know. But no, we've contacted the embassy. And after hearing the attorney, it was a little disturbing and upsetting to think that they're actually really tarnishing this guy's reputation. That's what's blowing my mind. Right. And also, this is a very important reminder, guys. Um, Ruby made a good point. Remember, this incident of the expat is not a common thing in the Philippines. It's not. It really isn't. Um, Jeremy Filipinos are peaceful, peaceful people and friendly, friendly as anything. No, really. We're, we're more friendly. And it's. There's a lot of expats that give um, a lot of fear mongering. I mean, I hate to say this again, like I've been in several countries, but in the U.S. and the Philippines in particular, I feel way safer in the Philippines. And not because I'm Filipino. It's because it's what I know. It's what I see. It's what the look I talk to the locals, um, robbery, thefts. I, I ask for everything, um, not just from one individual. I talk to different people, get a feel. Um, Again, I have more bad experiences um, that has happened to me in the West than here. And also, I have seen a lot of bad things in the West, including fatalities in, with my own two eyes in the West than I have here. And again, I'm just telling you guys, it's, it's, this fear mongering has to stop. I'm not talking about this particular incident. I'm saying there's a lot of experts that say, oh, it's Philippines unsafe, this and that. Well. Take the take into situation, take everything into consideration. Um, the location, the timeline, why, when, where, what. You know what I'm saying? Ask questions. Not it's not fair just to make a general statement. You know what I'm saying? Like one time there was an expat that says, Oh, uh, here there's zombies or something. He's talking about like, you know, how some people do some D R U G S. And they walk around like zombies. I'm telling you right now, I have never seen such a thing. And actually, some of these people actually, expats actually um, commented on his video says, you know, these guys are just poor and they're just kind of depressed and they just, but they're not on anything. They're just, you know, sad and depressed. They're emaciated because they're hungry, you know, that kind of stuff. And I'm like that. Yes, I agree. That's what I usually see. But the expat use it to his side as in, oh, well, these guys are on something. They're doing this. They're doing that. Well, it's very possible also that you're in a very bad area, bro. In, in the U.S., same thing. There are certain areas where you, you don't go. You know what I'm saying? Um, yes, besides no. medical is, is fine. The issue is medical versus, you know, firearm wounds. 
is not my take on it. Yeah, and like I said, trauma centers are not in the U.S. Even those are not common, and depending on the severity of the wound, a lot of hospitals can't even help you. Um, they have to transfer you. Um. Oh, hey, Woody. Woody says a guy in Tucson, Arizona, near my place was exonated in a road rage incident. If you have have a hothead, you should not be carrying a firearm. That's what he says. He says the Filipino word for firearm. Um, just fact says that's why they have a psychological test prior to getting a permit to buy a firearm along with a background and income info and here in angeles you have to go to the base camp actually to do all of that um i'm not quite sure anywhere else because honestly i mean i've never asked outside my state or province as it were you know i mean i've never gone to manila and says hey how do you get a firearm you know all here in Pampanga, you have to do all that and go to the camp, or the army army base to do that. I don't know anywhere else in the Philippines if they do the same thing. Um, Miyagi says, walk away, distance is your friend. What he's saying is that's why a lot of people didn't help is because, you know, you kind of don't get involved. Um, also, also the same basically is walk away from arguments or discrepancies. So if you have a hothead Filipino, walk away. Um, now, again, they don't have to have a firearm. They All they have to do is have some form of weapon. And you know what I'm saying? Because remember, they can turn things on you. Like I said, my friend was one of my friends. He was held up at firearm point got the weapon out of the the mugger or you know hold up or as they were not in in the u.s but point being this is in the u.s that when he got a hold of that weapon and he basically beat the guy senseless with it they turned the case around him and same thing here it doesn't mean that you know you're a good fighter it doesn't mean that even if you did defend yourself they can turn things around you AJ Hap says, whoever's speaking on the live stream is making good points for the expats who are planning coming here to the Philippines. Um, yes, RNC says, never flash money, money, jewelry, etc. Correct. Don't do that. No, no, well, AJ is not talking about the, about Michael, but there are a lot of idiot expats thinking that they're above the law and Filipino people when they come here and not talking about, no. Yeah, no, there's a lot of expats, again, who mistreat a lot of Filipinos, and there's tons of videos on this. I want to read something that just came through on Facebook. It's It's been here for a little bit, and I keep seeing this. I've seen it in one newspaper, and they're standing up for um, the rapper, okay, Jed Solera, Range 999. No man... This is their chant. No man has the right to touch a woman without her consent. And they're spreading this like wildfire throughout the internet. This has been repeated over and over and over again. If you're making fun of this man, Range 999, so, you know, Mr. Solera, if you're making fun of this man for him standing up and protecting a woman, Okay, then you have no right to call yourself a woman or man. That is his manager. Okay, which of course he would be pushing that everywhere right now. So everybody is like that dirty American. You know, the, the amount of comments that are coming through is just unreal. 6,000 comments. A crime is a crime regardless of whatever pity, excuse, violence is not the answer. That is true. We said that about Mark Thornton. Okay. 
No man has the right to take another man's life, no matter his reasons for committing such an act. Very sad. He threw his life and career and his whole future away for a few seconds of foolish bravado. Okay, another Filipino. And then there were 63 or 63 replies to that alone. Um, another Filipino responded in Cebuano and said, that is so true. Which he did. We said that. A guy's career is gone and a man's life and a father is gone for both of his children. A girlfriend has lost his boyfriend. So, yeah, it's just crazy, the comments coming in. Don't make decisions when you're mad. That was 20 hours ago. My sympathy is with you, but justice is for the victim. So that was said by a Filipino. Said about for him. Yeah, it shows where during the hurricanes, uh, Mike uh, Ritchie was seen giving out 400 cases of water and trailers worth of food and clothes, medical and water. So that was actually spread around too, which is good. Yeah, the, um, actually, me, I'm just reading the comments, and there's some of you, of course, talking to each other, but um, actually it was brought up that um, it's safer in Japan. It's because, like Miyagi says, it's 99% conviction rate in Japan. And he says, it, <laughs> he says, well, this, this is true. This is true. Miyagi said this, 99% conviction rate in Japan. Fact. And then he says, 100% if you're a foreigner. <laughs> No, no, no. Um, most Asian countries are usually very strict when it comes to their laws, whether they're in fair bias or not. Again, they're usually strict. Um, Philippines is somewhat loose, but not as loose as a lot of people think. And that's what we keep telling you guys. Don't think that you can get away with everything. You don't. Um, Black Grandpa, uh, I don't think he made it to the said establishment the hospital that treated the american was it a western style hospital or was it local they, they said it hospital? was a private hospital for yeah. sure um but like i said it was funny because when we started researching this um right after we seen sunshine shoulders like okay he he let it out so we're gonna have to cover it on our next live stream so we start calling the hospitals one they didn't have them at all he was not an actual patient anymore that was on Monday. They said he, they announced it on Tuesday in the evening time that he had passed away. But on Monday through the United States, the MMA fighting sites, his clan, all that, that he, he fights with, they said rest in peace and all that. They were going through all the rest in peace stuff. And I said, George, I think he's dead. And he said, well, we haven't heard nothing from the papers. We try to get solid facts before we talk about them. We may get some of them mixed up like I got the age of the rapper mixed up because one newspaper said they were both the same age, like at 37. Only the American is that age. And of course, I think he's not married to his the recent girl. It's his girlfriend. He was divorced. The children, both children belong to Taiwan. That's about the things we got mixed up. But besides that, it's just, this is the whole thing is just insane. I'm just... Right. Um... But yeah. AJ says, trying to inject our Western mindset on what's right and wrong about the Philippine court system is doing you no good. We're in their country and we have to abide by their laws and at all times around. No, that's true. People have to abide by the law. Hey, Tobias, good to see you here. Yes, Michelle, yes. It's very sad for the wife and kids, yes. Definitely. It is very sad. Um... No, Colleen, he, um, he's not in a hospital anymore, unfortunately. Now, AJ made an interesting point here. This is actually true. 
There's tourists and expats getting hurt, robbed, and killed around the world, including America, but you don't see YouTubers being found. Well, depending on the incident, certain YouTubers do make content out of even the most irrelevant things you've seen. But for the most part, um, no, not the ones that you're aware of anyway, that kind of deal. So it's also be aware that like we're in your feed. What I'm saying is the ones that are not in in our feed, meaning not that don't watch this type of content, they will never ever see us ever. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't mean that you don't see it, doesn't mean it doesn't exist. If that makes any sense. Um Well, Andrew, two shots fired, one of the foot and the other one was as he was falling, maybe his shoulders don't don't think intentional but lethal. Well, double tapping is actually um a very common practice, although I believe if you're ex military it's triple tap, not double tap. Check check this. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what, that's what your knees look like. When I used to use a firearm, I triple tap. And the reason being is you don't have time to aim the sights, if that makes any sense. So normally the first shot is to gauge where the first shot is, and then the second two usually hit their mark. On my on my my own personal thing. I'm not talking about anybody else. With me, without aiming, one gets me in the general direction. But the two always hit their mark. Um, I'm not sure if that applies with a lot of people, but on me, that's how I do it. This is a recent photo of him. What do you think? No, he's in with population. I'm staring at a photo of him sleeping on the floor. Probably his lookout. Hurley Wilson says, good morning. Thanks for bringing up the Michael side. It does make more sense that the women were on him, not the other way around. Yeah, that makes more sense, correct. And again, that for especially for those who've been to the Philippines, like, yeah, that's how it is here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it makes sense. And again, remember, these are not the girls you want in the first place. Like I said, if you have women falling in your lap, doesn't matter what country you're in, it's probably not the not the right woman. Um, my guard says, looks somewhat uncomfortable, and that footage just my take on it. Now this is very um important. Yes, enjoy every day on Earth. You never know when someone's going to snuff you out, or you get snuffed out, whether it's an accident, you know, or anything. Yeah, you, you never know. Exactly. Hold on. Yeah, there's some arguments in the, in yeah, the chat it here. Yeah, looks like he was out, but that's not it. Miyagi says, tarnishing the other camp is what lawyers do for their client. Yeah, no, no, it's true. And again, same thing with his manager, Ranger's manager. Of course, he's going to take his side. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, yeah, you know, it's a given. And yes, yes, Illuminar is also correct. Usually Filipino and Filipino is more common. Expat versus expat is more common than this range than, than this incident. No. Um, most of the time, it's expat and expat or Fil Filipino and Filipino. Even the alleged incident on Walking Street that they say, oh, it was, ex it was Filipino against expat. To my understanding, it was Filipino against Filipino. But there are contradictory stories that say otherwise. But even I thought it was Filipino and Filipino from watching the footage and from, you know, what's going on. It makes more sense if it was Filipino and Filipino. Because things just don't make sense. Some sometimes the the description doesn't if it doesn't fit fit the narrative, then there's something wrong with the story. If that makes any sense. Um, Ph expat Pepper says it is way more safe in the Philippines than most U.S. city cities. Simple facts. Bye, Alex. Nice. Um, good to see you. 
Yeah, and Miyagi says, oh, we're on the bottom. Um, Illuminar, yes. Actually, it's locals versus locals and expats versus expats. Yes, and locals. Yeah, it's not just the Philippines. Correct. It's usually the locals versus locals or the expats versus the expats. Yeah. And Miyagi's a world traveler, just so you guys know. So he's saying it's all over the world, not necessarily the Philippines. It's also in, you know, everywhere. Yeah, Woody, there's a lot of um, DREG zombies in Tucson, yes. And again, somebody said that here, and we're like, <laughs> name it. Name the place and location. Trust me, I've never seen it. Neither has Heidi. Um, Pope Paul says no one's forced to go to the Philippines and you can't end up there by accident you just have to make your choices wisely there you go well just facts okay the Cobra thing honestly again if you're in a if you live in a metropolitan area don't worry about it that's a just saying I mean it's a very small occurrence. Now, if you go in, now, for example, we, are, we were in Mexico, true story. We were in Mexico, and unfortunately, I didn't catch it on camera. I had a camera on, but remember, snakes are snakes. They're not exactly going to sit there and pose for the camera. Um, we were in the farm, and we were in a wheat field, and I, I was, anyway, I was in the wheat field a lot. Because I'm I'm an outdoorsy guy. I went to the waterfalls, that kind of stuff. And I went to the wheat fields. And one of the reasons why I love going to the wheat fields is there's a ton of snakes. Like a ton. Like yeah. literally each step I take, you can literally see and hear them slither everywhere. They're everywhere, literally. Like, But the thing is, I can't catch it on camera because they're kind of like hiding under the grass. All you, all you can see is a black line that goes like that. Like, and it's gone. But you can hear them everywhere. But what I'm saying is, if I did not intentionally go to that wheat field, I would never have seen a snake in Mexico. What I'm saying is, if you're in a metropolitan area, you don't, you don't have to worry about it, man. Just saying. Again. Um, That rap music was spread worldwide. They emulate the American hip hop lifestyle. Well, emulate. Um, I'm not saying that Range 999 is a bad rapper. I'm not saying that. He's actually got some very good songs out there. However, as a battle rapper, it's not the U.S. I'm just saying um, it's not comparable. When when I first heard the rap battles, I'm like, this is a rap battle, you know that kind of deal. So again, I'm not, you know. Remember, certain countries have their own certain skill sets. Um, for instance, I'm I'm not making this up. I and I'm going to tell you something real funny. For those of you who play Call of Duty, there I've always heard. If you guys think you're really good at Call of Duty, play in Asia. You'll see the difference. I have two Call of Duty accounts. I have a U.S. account and I have a Philippine account. Um, in the U.S. account, I always I'm always top. I'm always number one on the servers. It's rare that I get to number two. Either way, I'm always on the top three of the best players in the server. Against the Filipinos, oh my gosh. I I struggle to be on top. Like, I have a hard time being on the top three. But in the U.S., I'm always number one or number two. So, no. Call of Duty Asia, different story. But same thing, Filipinos rap battle. I hate to say this. They can't hold a candle against American rappers. And I'm not, and they're not rapping in English, by the way. They're rapping in Tagalog and Filipino. So you can't say, oh, it's because there's a language barrier. No, it's just, and they're rapping in Filipino, but it's not the same level, as it were. Um, yeah, and Miyagi, again, is reiterating that, remember, they're locals, meaning they have friends and relatives close by. They will find out where you're staying. Yeah, um, exactly. So, yeah, watch out. Um, Miyagi, my sympathy and empathy is with the victim, but justice is for the defendant.
Yeah, Mike probably bled out through his leg wound, correct. It, it, odds are that's what happened. Um, two paws says don't mess with high end ladies here if you wish to f them and leave them. No, you you will have a bad reputation, and it will haunt you from up to the next. You have to leave the province essentially. You have to move two cities over, even unless you live in Makati or Manila, because those are two highly populated. So in Manila and Cebu and you know high metropolitan areas, you can probably get away with it, but in smaller um, towns like Pangasinan, if you did a girl wrong there, you probably have to move out of Pangasinan. Yeah, so they were holding a blanket up during to make sure nobody was getting yeah. photos and stuff, still looking at, you know, the actual footage. So, yeah. Yeah, some man says there was probably, um, yeah, he says that's probably because they're not crazy like this 999 guy. Um, Miyagi says, from what it sounds like, he was unconscious the whole time. Um, they're talking about when Mike went down. We don't know. We don't know yet what the situation is as far as what it, the plans are with Mike. Um, whether um, they're going to... Because, again, remember, it depends on what they want. They can have him cremated and shipped. They can have the whole his him basically you know um flown back to the u.s we don't know um his wife or i mean sorry his girlfriend has gone radio silent for obvious reasons because i'm pretty sure she gets a lot of hate i mean i'm sure she gets a lot of hate and she probably has to block it because again um people are just unjust they'll pick on like somebody was not even because they think that they're related even if that person is in the right what well that's what i'm saying whether in the right or the wrong whoever that person is if they're gone they always pick on the relatives even though they have nothing to do with the case and same thing here i'm pretty sure she she shut down her account it's not deleted it's just she can't take the messages basically Stuff. Yeah. all right guys i think we're we're getting into this um we appreciate you guys all stopping in and we're gonna wrap this up because george has got some business i got some business we all got business we do so we do oh yeah yeah where's my where's my philip fish sandwich like one I'll, I'll buy you another fish sandwich where's my like fish sandwich i know you want that fish sandwich thank you guys for dropping in this live stream please be sure to do a thumbs up thumbs down if you guys dislike it if you're not subscribed be sure to subscribe again um say prayers for um rest in peace for michael richie the american that has passed away and we wanted to drop more information which we actually did a lot of this is new um and thank you for coming in and talking to us guys um i am advising people to still contact the embassy her name's mary Kay. she's one of the heads over there at the u.s embassy um in manila we've already sent messages over um and we're in contact with a few of the people that were there that night so that's where we got all this updated information um this is a conversation of what's actually going on um you guys should do your own due diligence and keep an eye on the news and what's actually going on um and we appreciate you guys all being here yeah thank you so much guys and again um oh thank you ted thank you ted, ted, scott, ted and our members scott, just thank you. Fax, AJ, hey dallas thank you for your support thank Miyagi, you of so course. much aj thank you very much thank take care you. everyone Thank you so much, guys, for it being here. It will be here. live in 24 hours. I mean, we're going to stick with it. Just sometimes, you know, when things are, excuse me, going on that we do extra live streams. Oh, speaking of Mickey D's, there's a new restaurant here. Instead of the Golden Arches, the Golden W, it's called Walk Donald's. I'm not even making this up. Walk Donald? Yeah. Anyways. I can't, I, I can't make this up, unfortunately. All right, guys. Uh, thank, thank you, you guys. so much. God oh, bless. You are Filipino, CNN. Thank, thank you so you much, guys. guys. Appreciate we'll so talk much. To you guys soon. Love you guys. All Bye, right. guys. Bye.